<clears throat> Shalom. I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh Bahashim, Yahushai Bahashim, Rik HaKodash. <clears throat> Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom. Wakasadium. Wabarakium. Peace, mercy, and blessings unto all you, Sequanium, Wa'akium, to the Bayaf Shalom, the House of David, to the hopeful elect. And to all the elect members that are scattered, you know, wherever you may be scattered. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, which means he exists or he is to be. The true name of the Son is Yahweh Shai, which means he is to deliver. All right. And this is going to be a response to uh, this brother's uh, video. As you can see, his vision. Elder Apostle Dehar is saying his goodbyes. And the brother's channel is Kingdom Minded 144. Okay, and it's being re-uploaded by this brother here, GMS Testimonials, Vision 4. Okay, now this is a response to this video, but I'm going to title my video a little differently. I'm going to title my video, The Lord is going to make you appreciate His name, all right, His Word, and His Prophets. Okay, and and, and through the Spirit and probably all by Shemi, I was shy at the camp, you know, yesterday. You know, me and the brothers, we have moved. You know, the Lord moved us from where we normally preach at on the main street to more near the uh, the uh, the gate or the entrance into uh, Rochester itself, like not too far where, you know, we were preaching at prior to yesterday. You know, it's the uh, the entrance into the city, and, it's, and you can clearly see, you know, a couple, maybe like 100 feet behind us, welcome to uh, Rochester. It's more of a little, uh, you know, discreet, quiet park location, you know, but yesterday the Spirit had us go back to the main street, you know, and as we did, you know, you had all type of Israelites, bus drivers, you know, they were, you know, they're driving past, beeping, you know, uh, saluting, even during the startup of a camp, you know, we did our, our opening prayer, you know, just asking you how about to send the Holy Spirit upon us to allow it to be edifying to allow his angels to protect us. And there's this Israelite woman, she said, I was praying with y'all, you know? So it's real spiritual, man. It's, it's like the times that we're coming into, man, the Lord is going to, uh, you know, the ministry is winding down. The Lord is getting ready to hide his men. And the word of the Lord is going to be sought after this thing. People are going to understand truly how how precious the name of Yahweh Bashem El Shai is, <clears throat> his word. You know, the Bible, the prophecies, and also his men. You know, the men who he used as vessels to push his word. You know, it's because right now, you know, we're being disrespected. You know, we're being called names, false accusations. When the times have come, you know, the Most High is getting ready to give his men power, fame, you know, and, and all sorts of, of, of things that we can't even imagine. Okay, so I'm just going to play a little of this video, <clears throat> then I got some uh, precepts. Now, I would say in the beginning, it was probably close to, i say anywhere from like 50 men, you know, or so. And then, uh, what? it was almost like a meeting because the, uh, the apostles had something to put out. Yeah. Okay. And uh, while we were waiting there, uh, oh, and that's that's another thing. Yeah, the the, the apostles, the, uh, the apostles were there too. And uh, while we were all waiting there, uh, Elder Apostle Tahar he gathered. I figured while I had the time, you know, to, you know, upload lessons. You know, brothers who, you know, I've seen you know in the highways and hedges. You know, and uh, and we was all together. It was a lot of us, all right? It was, I mean, it, it was it was, it was, was a good amount. I would say in the beginning, it was probably close to, I'd say anywhere from like 50 men, you know, or so. And then um, it was almost like a meeting because the, uh, the apostles had something to put out, okay? And uh, while we were waiting there, uh, oh, and that's, that's another thing, yeah, the, the, the apostles, the, uh, the apostles were there too and uh, while we were all waiting there uh, Elder Apostle Tahar he gathered gathered everybody together and uh, you know he says his goodbyes 
you know you know he was like you know we had a we had a good run you know but you know now it's time to uh you know to to depart ways or go our go our ways you know and so you know when he said that <laughs> you know it was like um it was like a, a weight like a like a heavy you know feeling you know a sense of, of of you know being you know sad you know in a sense you know and uh he's like damn like you you know you, it's, it's over it, we're, we're done you know and that's what it kind of felt like you know it kind of felt like damn like that's just, this is it you know and all the brothers start looking looking at each other you know a little confused like you know some were you know happy some were confused but needless to say we all kind of got the picture you know we all kind of got the picture and that was um you know wrapping things up you know because uh you know where we're it was the end you know it was the end of our ministry and um <clears throat> we're approaching the end of our ministry called Loyam La, the Alabashim El Shai. This is from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 35, and verse 15. I have sent also unto you all my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying, Return ye now every man from his evil way. <clears throat> right, and that's what we do when we hit the highways and edges, you know, as it's written in Isaiah, you know, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their sins, their transgressions, right? Letting you know that the ways of this world are, are, are evil, you know, and the doors of mercy are still open. You need to repent and return to Yah by Shemel Shai while he may be found. Because <clears throat> there's going to come a time where he won't be able to be found. And amend your doings. Amend means to correct. And go not after other gods to serve them, right? Not to not go after the, uh, not go after the guys of this world do not go after selling your soul worshiping satan christianity islam all right do not go after jesus christ do not go after these gods hell do not go after serving yourself man okay come out of the ways of this world and ye shall adore in the land which i have given to you and to your fathers but ye have not inclined your ear nor hearken unto me so the lord said listen you know but this calling is only unto the elect all right, return from your wickedness, and I'm going to give you back the land. I promised unto your forefather Abraham, which is Jerusalem, the land of Israel. Okay, well, what did our people do? But you have not inclined your ear, nor hearkened unto me. Instead of listening, they have taken the name for granted. Okay, <clears throat> they have said it not all the counsel. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 1, and verse 19. I'm sorry, 20. Wisdom cry without she uttered her voice in the streets and call all you like y'all by Shimmy Al We were on the streets yesterday. Lord willing we're gonna be on the streets next next week. You know, if it's Lord's will. You know, our apostles be on the streets, man. Look at the men right there. They're out there on the streets. Alright, they're they're not in the church. This is where you get the real wisdom at. On the highways and hedges, the streets. Right? Wisdom cried without, she uttered her voice in the streets. She cried in the chief place of concourse, right, where business or, you know, a lot of traffic is, right, where people can come up and where people can see you, where people can ask questions. That's where we go and teach, okay? <clears throat> but not hiding. In the openness of the gates in the city, she uttered her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? And that simplicity is what... <clears throat> Just chasing the American dream, chasing the bag. That's um, that's every day. It's becoming more and more worthless due to inflation, due to co due to the uh, collapse of the dollar, right? But our people still are chasing the bag, and the scorners delight in the scorning, and fools hate knowledge. That's another thing that they like to do. They they like to scorn the prophets of Yah by Shemuel Shai, the men of the Lord. They scorned them. They say we wear dresses, you know, they, they say we are, are grapists, you know, they falsely accuse us, you know, <clears throat> it says, 
to show oneself they mock or they mock our God, they, they mock our prayers, they call us Muslims. They do all type of shit. They throw things at us, they mess with our equipment, they call cops on us, they try to fight us. Okay. 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour my spirit unto you, and I will make known my words unto you. And that's what that's what you're supposed to do when you hear these prophecies, these words that we're bringing out, man. Because when you listen to what the men of the Lord is saying, it's not pretty. We're letting you know that Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed by nuclear fire. World War Three is coming. Famine is coming. Pestilence. Drought. Uh, very terrible times. You know? Because I have called and you and you refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded right. <clears throat> How's the Lord doing that? By having his men out there. You know, you have to understand that this is the mercy. And this is the uh the Houston brothers page. You know, which these brothers they always upload the uh the apostles videos. You know, but these men they out there teaching this well. So look at this seventeen hours ago, man. Look at that. Right? Brothers they're out there teaching, stretching out their hand. Alright? Giving you the prophecies <coughs> of Yahweh by Shemi the wisdom of the scriptures. Alright? But you have said it not all my counsel. Yeah, but none of my proof. Our people don't want nothing to do with this word, with Yahweh by Shemi or his men. Okay? So what the Lord's gonna do? I will also laugh at your calamity. Calamity is uh, destruction, um, unfortunate events, okay? It says distress, burden, disaster. Most eyes going to laugh when disaster comes upon you. I will mock when your fear comes. Yehobah Shemel Shai is the king of terrorists. He's going to bring people's worst <coughs> nightmares to reality on them, Okay? And they gonna know and they gonna know you how Bashim Yah Shah had done it. Very scareful. Very fearful. When your fear coming as desolation and your destruction coming as the whirlwind and the stress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, right? Because at that time the Lord's gonna already been to hit his face, hit his men. Brought the famine of the world. You ain't, you ain't gonna be able to find the Lord then, okay? For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh by Shem Shai, that they were none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. So you have to read what you sow. All right. This is from the Book of Amos, chapter eight, and verse eleven. Behold, the days come, said Yahweh Shemel Shai, that I will send a famine in the land. A famine is the scarcity of food, water. People starve to death during famines. You know, people result to uh, to killing each other. They turn on each other. Okay, not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water. Even though these things are coming, but this famine is going to be a spiritual one. But of hearing the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. So the Lord is going to bring a spiritual famine. Because this word is likened unto bread and water as well. It's likened unto food. This food is nourishment for your spirit. Okay? And they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. And shall not find it. So people are going to, they're going to go to great lengths to Seek the word of Yahweh by Shem Shai to look for answers, to look for the Lord's men, you know, to uh, try to get this understanding. But in those days, it's going to be too late. And in that day shall the fair virgins and the young men faint. So faint. You know, people are going to faint for hearing the words of Yahweh by Shem Shai. I'm going to look up the commentary and see what that says. says this this is the pulpit commentary this shall be the bitterness at the end they have rejected the warnings of the prophets now the word of the most high and the light of his teaching should fill them famine 
When the light of the Most High's revelation is withdrawn, they're longing for the word, however, so and great shall remain unsatisfied. It says they may grieve like psalmists. We see not our signs. There is no more any prophet, neither is there any among us that know it how long, but it will be in vain. Okay, so that that's what's coming in that day, man. Our people are gonna look for prophets. Alright, the how about Shem Yashad, they're gonna search for the name. Hell a lot of people may even know the name, but the how about Shem Yashad is gonna make you appreciate his name, his word, and his prophets. Okay. Cause people, you know, can easily take things for granted. Okay. This is the book of Second Chronicles thirty six. In verse 15, and Yahweh by Shem Shai, the power of their fathers sent to them by his messengers rising up B times, meaning early. Okay, yesterday we were at camp from what about 12 30 to 2. You know, we were going to go a little earlier, but we had to do some things, so we're usually out there earlier, especially in the winter. We try to go a little earlier because the longer you go or the later you go out, it just gets colder and colder. It's cold up here. You know, but we're still out there, man. Hell, last last year was a very cold winter. It was camps. It was like eight degrees, fifteen degrees, right? And sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. But they mocked the messengers of Yahweh Shemuel Shai and despised his words and misused his prophets. This is what they do to us. Okay. This is what they do to our apostles and elders. They make all type of videos, okay? Until the wrath of Yahweh Hashem El Shai rose against his people till there was no remedy, and that's what's getting ready to be brought, all right? The Most High is going to turn his face, hide his men, hide his words, all right? It's going to be a famine of hearing the words of the Lord, and there ain't going to be no remedy for our wicked-ass people, man. And that's going to come in the form of Jacob's trouble. That's going to come in the form of Peacekeepers, UN troops, foreign troops. That's going to come in the form of the World War III, the Third World. That's going to come in the form of the nuclear destruction, man. Okay? Therefore, he brought upon them the king of the Chaldees, who slew their young men with the sword in the house of their sanctuary, and had no compassion upon young man or maiden, old man, or him that stooped for age. He gave all unto his hand. That's what's coming. Old, young, it does not matter. <laughs> Yahweh Shem El Shai is getting ready to unleash his fury. Okay? Why? Because our people are wicked. This is Matthew 23 and 31. Wherefore, ye be witnesses unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. They did it in the past. If they could do it now, they would kill us. All right? You have a lot of people, they, they want to kill us. I remember a couple of years ago when I was first coming in, you had polite you know, in the gun range, shooting up the Bible. He was trying to get the Crips and the Bloods against the apostles and the men that teach this word. Okay? Israel, our people are a bunch of demons, man. So the Lord's going to gonna unsheathe this sword. All right? <laughs> Which is sword is the wicked. He's going to unsheathe this sword. He's going to beat niggas' ass one last time. All right? This is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 10, and verse 5. O Assyrian, the rod of mine anger and the staff in their hand is mine indignation. The modern day Assyrian are these so called white people, the Edomites. Okay? Because America is likened unto all these kingdoms. It's likened unto Assyria. It's likened unto Babylon. It's actually called Babylon the Great. Egypt, Rome, Greece. Okay? O Assyrian, the rod of mine anger. Right, you gotta understand that the wicked is the most high sword. He's gonna use them to cut. Okay? And the staff in their hand, the staff in their hand is the weaponry, the blessings that Yahweh Shem El Shai gave Esau, which Esau's blessing is the sword. Going into his uh his military man, his weaponry, his ability to um to get nasty with those guns. Alright? I will send him against the hypocritical nation and against the people of my wrath. I will give him a charge to take the spoil and to pray. A lot of our people are going to be taken to uh, camps 
Because right now they're closing down Walmarts. Okay. And to tread them down like the mire of the streets, a lot of our people, man, they're going to get fucked up. Right? <laughs> Mass judgment is coming, man. All right? Repent. Seek Yahweh by Shem El Shabbat. You may be found. This is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, and verse. Verse uh, 28, again, the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus said Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, she a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. And what's that? That's the Lord preparing these 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 foreign troops to invade and, and, and to fucking break people. Okay? To, to kick in their doors and take their food children, guns, ammo, whatever they got, and them, okay, to uh, abuse them in all manner of ways, okay, it is also sharpened to make a slow, a sore slaughter, it is fervous that it may glitter, so we didn't make mirth, right, we're not in the time to make mirth, we're not in the time to be worshiping these stupid ass holidays, okay, we're not in the time for that, man, a lot of our people, they don't know what the times that they're in okay it could timeth the rod of my son as every tree and he had given it to be furbish that it may be handled the sword is sharpened and is furbish to give into the hand of the slayer the slayer is the devil satan the adversary okay and we know according to revelation 12 and 12 the devil was getting ready to come down with great wrath verse 12 Cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people, upon who's the, the Lord's people, the Israelites. Right? First Peter 4 17. Judgment shall begin at the house of Israel, man. Okay. It shall be upon the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite therefore upon the die. That's what Yahweh by Shem is about to do. Damage. Right? This is Psalm 17 and 13, right? This is the prayer of David. This is what the elect is going to be praying. Because even though this is going to happen, in the minute the Lord is going to be in the midst of certain of these situations, according to divine intervention, angels, spiritual power, you know, Yahweh Hashem Yahushua is going to protect his men, okay? It says, Arise, O Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, disappoint him, cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. The wicked is the most high sword, and he's getting ready to swing his sword. And billions of people is getting ready to die out here, man. It could very well be next year. We're only a couple weeks away from 2023. All right? So I just got one more precept. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3. And 19. Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halted, and gather her that was driven out, and I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have been put to shame. To shame. This is what's coming for the men of Yahweh by Shem El Shai, the prophets, the, the the teachers, man. All right, the Lord says He will get them fame and praise in every land. Would they have been put to shame? All right. Especially when when people start to realize the things that were happening, and, and oh shit, these guys been saying that. You know, that's when that respect is gonna come, man. about to do uh, great damage out here, but also great miracles is coming. Great miracles is coming for the elect. Great judgment is coming for the wicked of our people, man.
So with that, I just wanted to do a quick lesson. I want to say all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekakudash. Double honor unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And shalom to the